and welcome to the Carlyke Herald Sports Match, Carlyke and District's highest rating online sports show. My name is Ben Martin. With me, as always, is Mr. Netball himself, Alex Baird. Alex, welcome. Thank you, Ben. And what another exciting weekend it was of sporting in the Carlyke District. Let's hear all the results. We'll kick it off with the football, as we usually do, with the GFL action of the weekend. Some bad news for the Tigers, though, Alex. Their five-game winning yeah. streak has come to an end with a loss against St Mary's. Their second loss against the Saints this season. This time they lost 13-7-85 to 11-7-73. They actually led it every change before the oh. Saints overran them in the last quarter. Jake Carmody and Jake McGuan each kicked four goals for the Tigers, while their best players with Kane Leeson, Mikey Buchanan, Jared Garner, Jake Carmody, Lockie Veal and Lockie Simkin. Former Geelong AFL footballer Kane Tenace was the Saints' best in this one. Crossover to the Collect District Football League action now, where Apollo Bay has kept his finals hopes alive with a valuable win against Forest. Uh, the Hawks won this one 12 11 83 to 8 11 59 at Apollo Bay Recreation Reserve. Chris Canavan kicked four goals for the Hawks, while their best players were Jack Pascoe, Damian Condon, and Tom Roberts. For the Lions, Brenton Flynn kicked three goals and was among the best players with Sean, Wiel Sean Wells, Andrew White and Ryan Connolly. The next game, Simpson has defeated Illawarra Biak after trailing for most of the match 10-9-69 to 9-2-56. Nick Harding kicked three goals for the Tigers and their best player was Luke Wheel. For the Bombers, Sam Barry kicked three goals and their best player was the big fellow Jaden Bluey Angus. Beragara has survived a bit of a scare from Lawn, winning 14-15-99 to 11-7-73. Christian Kelly kicked six goals for the Saints and their best player was Luke Phillips down back. Ricky White kicked three goals for Lawn and their best player was John Leontiades in the midfield. Elvie has given Otway Districts a bit of a hiding at Jelly Round Recreation Reserve, winning 33-13-2-11 to 4-5-29. Tom McCricker was on fire in this one. He kicked 12 goals in a best on ground performance while other good players for the Swans were the young fellow Tyler Manane, so well done Tyler. Dale Ferrari kicked two goals for the Demons and their best player was Rich Tucker. Finally, before we wrap things up, Colac Imperials have had a comfortable victory against the Western Eagles winning 22-24, 156-1, 6-12. -12. Tyson Finnegan kicked five goals for the Imps while their best player was Simon Scott. And for the Eagles, Amon Johnson was the Eagles single goal kicker and their best player was Paddy Ryan in the middle. That wraps up football. I'll now pass over to Alex with the netball. Very exciting, Ben. Um, I'm going to start with the Colac Tigers in netball. Look, they pegged back a margin which got out to 12 points and only lost by three, 34 to 37 at Central Reserve. It, it was a gallant comeback from the young Tigers. Um, in other matches this year when the margin's been out they've sort of just let, let the game slip away but all credit to the girls they fought back Chelsea Hillman was best on court and netted eight goals in a in a shooting circle role for her which is pretty rare uh, which was a great game Riley Stevens was again strong in defence while Kelsey Lang proved she was up to A grade standard with a strong game in the midcourt when she stepped up um, moving to Colac District Netball and Alvey, they produced just their second win of the season and put a huge dent in dent in um, Otway District's finals aspirations with a stunning 41-28 win. So that was a great effort from the Swans, the young side. Um, they've only beaten Forest this year, but players like Georgia Robinson, 21 goals, and Mercedes Hickey, 20, really stood up. For the, the Demons, uh, Simone Hickman, who um, came runner-up in the in the um, Cougars Div 1 best and fresh she returned to the Demons and scored 18 goals and Mariana Vickers scored 10 other best players for Albion were Maggie Eldridge and Paige Spence who stood up in defence while Megan Spokes and Jane Robertson were good for the Demons in other games Apollo Bay 93 proved too strong for Forrest 15 and moved back into the 5 um, goals for Apollo Bay Katie Monahan scored 49 while Renee Seaback scored 10 Apollo Bay's best was Candace Hyman's, while Jessica Manane played a good game for the Lions. Lawn, 36, two, just too strong for Forest, uh, Birigara, 22. Goals for Lawn, Carly Anticott, 31, while Karen Hart scored 12 for the Saints. Brooke Hutchings was good for Lawn in defence, while Jess Whedon played a good role across the court for, the, for Birigara. Simpson proved too strong for Irrawarra Bearc in their game, winning 39 to 28. Um, in goals, Jesse Hawkins topped the list with 26 for the day, while Courtney Garner netted 16 for the Bombers. Um, Kelly Powell played a starring role for the Tigers in midcourt, while Narelle Frith played another strong game for the Bombers. Um, 
And in the final game, Carling like Imperials, 67, were just too good for Western Eagles, 38. Beck Scott, again, started with 42 goals, while Hayley Fiddler played a good game for the Eagles with 24. Rhiannon Whitson was the best for the Imps, while Ali Janow had another strong game, Ben, and that wraps up netball for the weekend. And that wraps things up for us here on the Sports Match for another week. Thanks again for tuning in. Make sure you grab Wednesdays and Friday's Colac Herald to keep up to date with all the latest Colac and District sporting news. And until then, we'll see you next time. See you next week.